Now let's take homeopathy as an alternative health claim. It's based on the idea that like cures like, or the law of similars. Now, it sounds faintly plausible, right? It's kind of like a vaccine where you get a, a diminished form of the virus and uh, that provokes your immune system. But the idea behind like cures like is the assumption that the thing that caused the ailment can actually cure it. So a diluted form of poison ivy can stop a skin rash. Uh, a diluted uh, form of coffee can stop hyperactivity. Um, red onions can stop your eyes from watering, right? But it gets even stranger. Homeopath homeopaths claim that the more you dilute a substance, an active ingredient, the more powerful it becomes. So most homeopathic remedies are labeled 30C, which means one part active ingredient to 100 to the power 30 parts water. Now, that's all of the atoms in the entire solar system. Take another example, I mean, a 12C dilution, never mind a 30C one. The analogy there is a pinch of salt in the entire North and South Atlantic Oceans, right? There is no active ingredient in homeopathic remedies. It's just water. That's exactly right. This idea of like cures like, I think, is really interesting. Uh, there's a bunch of this. You see this all over the place. The things that people eat, right? So a lot of people eat fish or pig brains to make them smarter. They eat uh, eyeballs to make them see better. They eat uh, testicles or penis to improve their sexual performance. <laughs> or rhino horns to make them horny. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, I mean, this, this idea of you are what you eat is taken literally, in a sense. Now, uh, Carol Nemiroff and Paul Rosen did some really nice work here. They, um, they gave people information about these fictitious tribes. So, participants were told about, um, about this tribe that ate wild boar, right? And then they rated the personality characteristics of, of this tribe. And the, the tribe that ate wild boar were, were judged to be hairier, have beards, and more aggressive than another tribe uh, who ate sea turtles. Now, this tribe that ate sea turtles were judged to be better swimmers. Yeah, that's, kind of, that's, the, that's the you are what you eat sort of idea, which is related to uh, another similar claim that natural is better. So many people have the intuition that the things that we eat, if they're natural, they're better for you, they're better for the environment, they're safer. But if you think about it for a second, there are a lot of unnatural things that aren't good for you. I mean, jellyfish poison, snake venom, uh, arsenic, they're all perfectly natural, but they're not good for you at all. Uh, some perfectly unnatural things are uh, automobiles, indoor plumbing, uh, eyeglasses. These are all unnatural, but they're really, really useful. So I had a chance to talk to Jimmy Batella about this, this idea, this intuition that we have of natural being better. And here's what he had to say. 